Hello everybody, it's Rob here with some Lightroom stuff. How are you? Hope you're okay. Now, uh, Adobe have released the latest uh, 5.2 um, update. Now it is a full update. Um, it's no longer in the beta mode. Um, so feel free to download it. It should give you the option if you've got it um, set to automatic in your Lightroom preferences it should give you the option to download it so go ahead and download it um, there are some various bug fixes um, couldn't tell you what all of them are but recently I released um, or put a video on YouTube about the beta uh, mode um, of the update and I really just spoke about the uh, clone and healing brush um, so I want to talk about that again in this video um, but I'm going to do some, I'm just going to retouch or edit this photo very quickly um, just to show you some examples of the new uh, things in the update. Um, other things in the update are the camera profiles. Um, I believe the new Canon 70D is part of the um, new profiles that they've put into Lightroom. Um, so go check them out and there are a few other things that I we can talk about so I've just brought this down to give me some more room and I'm gonna get rid of this and this and just to show you that uh, what lens I used for this I'm just gonna go into view and down to view options and you can toggle this on and off um, to give you some info about the, the lens and the shutter speed and all that stuff but I'm gonna leave it off so I can see what I'm doing so let's go into this image and the first thing I'm gonna do is go to the basic panel and I'm just gonna bring down the highlights because the top of her hair is blown out just a touch and I'm gonna bring up the exposure just a touch and the shadows and the whites I'm just gonna hold down my alt or option key to give it a white point and I'm gonna drag to the right till I see some specks of white and the same with the black I'm gonna drag to the left and when I see some specks I've got a good black point and it's a quite a, a yellow image it's kind of the sun was quite low so it's kind of got some goldy colors which I quite like but I'm just gonna bring the color down just to see in fact I like it it's at about 6600 something like that which for this image I quite like that's fine so what can we do with the new tools or the new update? Well, let's go into the uh, healing brush and let's just zoom in and let's go to, let's just move this image over a bit so we can see what we're doing. So they've added the feather option in the spot removal and the clone uh, sorry the clone brush and the healing brush I'm gonna go with the heal healing brush for this um, example the feather is set to about 40 or 50 and I can increase the size with my left and right bracket keys so let's just see what happens here I just click and drag and as you can see it's doing quite a good job so I'm just going to go around the image usually I would go into Photoshop to do this kind of stuff but Lightroom is slowly catching up uh, Photoshop with the retouching uh, tools now that you can use so more and more people will will stop using Photoshop I believe um, but it'll be interesting to see how the developments happen with the um, Creative Cloud 
whether Lightroom is going to go fully that way. I'm not sure if that's going to happen. I know you can get it as part of the CC already, but I'm not sure about the uh, later versions. Um, Lightroom 6, for example, um, if and when it does come out, will that be um, as part of the cloud or will it, there be an option to buy? I don't know. I hope we can still buy it. Um, what else is in the release? Let's have a look. Well, if we go down to the details section, um, underneath the sharpening uh, area, there's a noise reduction and there is a smoothness slider now um, to help with the noise reduction. When you boost up the color noise reduction, um, if this is on zero, uh, these are blanked out. You can't use the detail or the smoothness, but with the color cranked up, um, you can then give it some extra smoothness uh, with this slider. So it's pretty good stuff. And another thing, let's just zoom back in. And if we make some local adjustments, so let's go to the uh, adjustment brush and double click on effect to reset everything. If I bring, for example, the exposure up completely just to show you and let's just paint over here this is just an example so say you've made um, a local adjustment um, if your pins are selected to be shown you can now right click if you hover over the pin you can right click and you get the option to duplicate delete or reset the brushing uh, which is quite a good feature I think I'm just going to delete that and then we can just redo it if we need to but I don't want to keep that so let's just delete so that's a good feature that they've brought in um, I just want to finish off this photo um, the other things that they've done are some bug fixes and they've uh, released some more camera profiles I believe the Canon um, 70D now is part of the um, profiles in Lightroom and I'm just gonna apply a small amount of sharpening to this image and let's do the good old vignette just to bring the focus back to the subjects so that's about it that's about all I want to do with this photo um, this is just a few things that they've done with the new 5.2 um, update. It is now released for the public, as I said. So go ahead and download it. Um, for more Lightroom stuff, please ask me any questions. I'm not a professional or anything, uh, as you can probably tell. Um, so no harsh comments. Um, I am doing this just for the crack, really, because uh, I like it. And I just want to share stuff um, with some people who might not be um, sure about Lightroom and all the editing stuff so if you've got any questions about Photoshop or Lightroom feel free to ask me any questions so hit the subscribe button and the like button and um, take care guys I will see you soon